say them gonna sound like something that Batman chew on before he about to go beat somebody up. Why is it in my Italian dressing? Make it make sense. <laughs> Squad, what it do? It's your girl Lala, and I'm back with a whole nother video. Today is about to be super cute, fun, and informative. Why? Because I'm giving y'all some banging substitutes for y'all to switch out with your daily condiments that you eat on a regular basis. So that way you can help with your skin. Y'all probably don't even know that the stuff you eating on a regular basis is causing you those outbreaks of pimples on your face. Okay, now before we get into this video, please make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, go ahead and comment, and also go ahead and turn on your notification bell, okay? Now, without further ado, let's start talking about the different things that might be causing you those daily breakouts that you can't figure out why. Now, here's the thing. I came to y'all bare face and everything like that, so that way y'all can truly get into my skin and know that obviously having acne is an ongoing process and so many things contribute to your skin, but things that I didn't even realize contribute to it. Meanwhile, I thought me cooking at home was doing myself an amazing favor, but come to find out all of the things that I was eating on a regular basis in my daily meals was actually making it worse on my skin. And I hit up my esthetician and I was like, girl, what the heck is going on? And she was like, well, let's go through your refrigerator, y'all. I was so, so, so shook. And I said, oh my gosh, so many people who have acne are eating these same exact products that I eat on a regular basis and probably aren't even aware of the fact that these things are contributing to their regular pimples on their face. So without further ado, I have a couple of things out of my refrigerator and I'm gonna show you guys the difference between the two and let you know why one is good for you and one not so much. So let's get started. Okay, so if you're anything like me on a regular basis, you like to have syrup, okay? I like pancakes, I like waffles, I like sausage, I like eggs, and I like syrup on all of those items. The most important thing when you are looking at different foods to get so that way you are very much so aware of whether or not it's good for you is to look at the ingredients. I always just figure, hmm, they're condiments, it doesn't make a big difference, but apparently it does. So starting with the syrup, the first thing that it says on the ingredients is high fructose corn syrup. Unannounced to me, my esthetician said that that's used for population control. AKA, it's an industrial ingredient that they put in a lot of foods to help kill people off sooner than their time. Oh my God, this whole time I've been ingesting this and so many other foods, not aware that that was in it. So. The healthy substitute is this, and it's literally just maple syrup. I said, now, honey, just the fact that it is called maple syrup and it ain't no name brand. Well, it is, but the maple syrup part is larger than that. I said, Lord, some tell me this ain't about to be good. But truth be told, it actually tastes way, way, way better. And the crazy thing is it tastes extremely natural. Now, the first ingredient in here, it says pure maple syrup. That's it. There's no other ingredients. And it had me looking at the ingredients in here like, wait, okay, so there's cellulose gum, salt, natural and artificial flavor, caramel color, sorbic acid, and sodium benzoate versus just maple syrup. Now, this is supposed to be maple syrup. Why do it have all those other extra ingredients in it aside from maple syrup? I think you get the point. So here, change out your Aunt Jemima for some pure maple syrup. Ooh, just looking at this stuff really got me shook because I'm like, dang, this whole time I never paid attention because I was so used to eating it, but there's more. Now this next one right here blew my mind, blew my mind. We was all raised up on hunts, okay? And I'm just like, ketchup is ketchup is ketchup. It's what is ketchup made out of? Tomatoes, right? Well, apparently this is made out of tomato concentrate made from vine ripened tomatoes, high fructose corn syrup. Now, how the hell is high fructose corn syrup in this and in the syrup? 
They taste nothing alike. What, what's the reason? What was the reason? With other natural flavors. What? For what? For what? Versus the ingredients is here is organic tomato puree, organic agave nectar, organic white. Everything is organic. And guess what? They taste just the same, except for there's no population control ingredients in this one. <sighs> oh my gosh. I hope y'all learning. Like, mind you, paying attention to ingredients is a big deal. And also switching out these condiments just in your daily diet can honestly help with your skin. Okay, let's get to the next one. I love jelly. Love putting it on my bread. I love just Start my day off with a little burst of grape jelly. You know what I'm saying? But apparently, this is giving me a burst of a little early death. Okay? And it sounds crazy, but you got to think about how many items has high fructose corn syrup in it and how many of them you're eating on a daily basis. So how that little bit turns into a lot after a while. Ugh. Anyways, the ingredients of this one says... Concord grapes, okay, cool, good, it got grapes, as it should, but then it goes into corn syrup, then high fructose corn syrup, just that alone, done, versus this one, and I'm, I'm literally like, how did I not pay attention to this, we don't think about it, it's little, but you're taking this in on a daily basis, okay, so the ingredients in this one is organic, grape juice from concentrate oh that's cute they working together okay and then it goes on to say organic cane sugar fruit pectin vitamin c citric acid okay okay y'all are getting it y'all are getting it keep watching though because i'm literally giving you all of the regular condiments that we eat child that you just switch out those small switches is gonna make a difference in your life i'm promising you also if you haven't done so already, please make sure you go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and comment below your suggestions on other things that we may be taking in on a daily basis that is affecting our skin, honey. Let's help each other out because let's be clear, having acne, it's never cured. It's simply maintained. And if we can help maintain our acne, we'll feel so much better about ourselves. Now, honey, this one hurt to my heart. It really, really did because I love Italian dressing. I be feeling like when you eat salad, you can't go wrong. You're automatically being healthy, but apparently not, okay? Because the ingredients in this Italian dressing is, it says all of the other things, but one thing about ingredients, if you see something that you can't pronounce or you don't even know what the hell it is, you probably shouldn't be having it. And that's what I realized on here because it has something in here called Zathan gum. Just seeing that alone, I was like, what the fuck is this? I don't need it. Versus this, it's totally different. Avocado oil, okay? Sea salt, organic lemon juice concentrate. It's super, everything is organic. It has time. It's all very much stuff that I can read. Everything, for the most part, I know what it is. And even if not, it makes sense because it's like, okay, I can read it. It makes sense. Zaytham gum sound like something that Batman chew on before he about to go beat somebody up. Why is it in my Italian dressing? Make it make sense. And I will say I had to shake this up so hard to get into it, honey. I really, really did. But once I shook it, you know, to the extreme and poured it on, I was like, okay, all right, cool. I could get with it. And I'm not going to lie. Initially, when you're switching different things over, it's going to take some getting used to. And that's where I'm going to lead into this one. Lord knows. Lord knows. I love me some honey barbecue sauce. <laughs> Sweet baby rays. Boy, they put their foot in this when they freaking made this, truly. But they also put their foot in my acne when they made it. Because honey, what's on here? You already know the high fructose corn syrup. Now, I'm thinking Sweet Baby Ray was Uncle Ray back in the day when he was at the grill cooking his own little thing up. And I know he didn't say, ooh, let me put some high fructose corn syrup inside of here. So I know that they took that to the big corporations and they just commercialized it and that's exactly what they did. But that ain't it. Okay, so 
With that being said, I had to go ahead and switch over. Now, what I can honestly say, I got to keep it real with y'all. I got to keep it real. This wasn't it for me. It wasn't, okay? You see how little it came like right there, honey, and I only used that much, a dollop. What I had to do was add some honey up in here and mix it in a bowl real good and add a little bit of spice, honey, to give it a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, pizzazz, because it wasn't touching on this. I was like, for that, I'll take the pimples. I'll take the freaking early death with the high fructose corn syrup. But I had to swag this out. But I say all of that to say the ingredients in here, the first thing it says is water. That's good, okay? And then it goes on to organic crushed tomatoes, organic, 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 everything on here, I truly know what it is, okay? And I'm just like, I get it. No wonder it's not that great. It's healthy. And it ain't gonna give me breakouts, okay? And last but not least, I saved this one for last because I thought I was doing something when I was like, I can't believe it's not butter. Oh, I'm not eating real butter. I'm doing my thing. <laughs> Esthetician Marie was like, no, Lala, that is not correct. You can, you can eat butter. So I had to switch to Kerrygold, okay? Now in this, the first thing it says is soybean oil. No. Soybean oil clog you up. Comes out the pores. Pimple just popping up all over your freaking face. You know? I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I be feeling like, dang, I'm starting to look like pizza. Why? Different things that I'm eating on a regular basis. Okay? I say that to say the first thing that I see on here is says, made with milk from grass-fed cows not treated with growth or any other hormones. Well, dang, this one ain't even mentioned coming from a cow. So where did it come from? I don't wanna know. Mm. Neither here nor there. I hope that me showing y'all the different condiments that I eat on a regular basis that you probably eat on a regular basis as well if you are acne prone Switching them out for better alternatives, okay, is going to help your skin. And I truly hope that y'all go shopping for these things. I am putting the links below for where you can go ahead and buy the different items. They are all purchased online. You can also get them at Whole Foods. You can get them local if you don't like clicking online. But if you're anything like me, you could just go ahead and just click and have it all be delivered to your door. If you haven't done so already, Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I talk about everything. I just let y'all know stuff that I deal with because I know that the stuff that I be going through, hmm, so many other people be experiencing too. So I truly hope that y'all enjoyed this video, okay? As always, it's your girl, Lala Milan, and I will see y'all next time. Love y'all for real. Bye. <laughs>